okay good day guys you're welcome again to my channel uh, this is joshua the designer and today i've come to show you something simple and interesting about product structure and this tutorial is kind of interesting because i am trying to bring you on to my current project and i want to show you something i encountered here and um, that you can really take on and apply onto your project uh, and make your work simpler and better right now so today i want to show you how to have a combined part footing and why you should in some cases have that and when best to have it okay thank you very much please do well to use the like button and subscribe to this channel if you're new to my channel also share to your colleagues and share with your friends that you get better with structural engineering i release amazing content momentarily and so that you can catch it up as soon as it drops you can use the notification bell and hang on to the channel so that you can become better yes okay so let's go simply to what i want to show us today okay this is the story or oh, oh, um the foundation layout this foundation story of my project which is showing to you the column layout and um, the sizes and positioning of my column daisy right okay so i want to just show you a particular part of this project now this is viewing four different columns and um, these columns i can actually create bases for this one so in case you've not actually gone through some of my videos on the channel um, such as how to make part foundations with product structure you need to go back there and watch it and get better in having a part foundation so this i want to show you today is to just bring a knowledge of what you have there and build upon it okay so having these two columns and i can create a part footing for this so i select insert part footing now having selected that you have this this is product structure 2021 um, you would be able to recognize now that it is different from product structure 2018 it has a little advancement on the interface that you're seeing here on how the thing actually pops up right okay so but then it's the same application it's the same analysis but then it comes in a better and advanced way okay so let let me use a one three by one three base and also on this now i apply these designs to this foundation footing now this is the reason for doing that i want to show you why now when you have two columns particularly sometimes close to each other that the column footing begins to intersect another lapping one another so in this case you need to combine this footing together to form a whole but then this footing coming together to form a whole its analysis will be quite different from having that isolated part footing now because there is a clear difference between isolated part footing and combined footing which are serial columns upon it right now so in this case now where you have your column bases overlapping one another uh, you see that you need to actually devise a means um, to solve what's going on here so in solving what's going on here is where we introduce our combined part footing right so i gave a reason when you have columns that do not give allowance for separate isolated part footing without overlapping each other you need to provide a combi combined part footing such that in your analysis you'll be able to cater for two part footings or more on your uh, two columns rather two columns or more on your column base right okay so to do that i'll be showing you how we go about that right so let's get rid of this that we have done now we'll, we'll check the difference right here now i can now highlight the two of them right so then you right click then you see this insert combined part footing now when you click insert combined part footing um you see what we have at this point yeah okay so it is so important that you do not have your column bases overlapping another because in the construction and as well in the analysis is going to be revealing that you've mixed something up right 
okay so the design is successful combining the two together to become one in the previous case we used the one three by one three base um, for the two columns and yet they intersect another one another so but in this case combining the two of them gives me 1.3 meters by 2 meters of a single base and is a combined part footing right yeah so we have combined part footing and we have isolated part footing so here we have combined part footing so then uh, i can press ok now let's see what it becomes now you see that instead of having two columns two column bases intersecting another instead of having one overlapping another i have a single co combined part footing right and it caters for the two columns transmitting the loads into the foundation right so this is a way of going about this in case you have this peculiar or this unique situation in any of your projects apply this combined part footing and this is how to go about it thank you very much this is Joshua the designer and I'm here always to attend to you. You can always use your comment section and drop your questions, drop your uh, opinion about designs and I'll be there to attend to you. In case you have not liked or subscribed to any of our videos or the, to this channel, you can do well to use the like button and also subscribe to our channel. Share with your friends that you get better. I, I am Joshua the designer. Thank you. Bye.